hello, let's build the beers here and back to intro of Angband, lots of configuration, boring configuration in this video. So after the interface options we get warning options. Here you can set when you are interrupted, that is automatic moves and resting stops. When for example you feel a monster move, you see a monster move, you leave your detection area, very useful. Uh, state changes, then if your information prompt gets automatically cleared, I need this on for my keylogger, but I usually play with it on in any case. You need to play a little more careful with this on. Or rather, if you have a lock window, you should have it on normally. normally and if you don't have one, you should have it off. Oh. Object recharge. When rechargeable objects recharge, you get stopped. Okay. Next menu, burst. You can review your difficulty seconds. You can cheat if you want. You don't really need it. Mainly useful for debugging. The sub windows are the really cool stuff about Angband all these windows you see here I can configure what is displayed here for example inventory equipment or my message log the important thing monster recall object recall a monster list status screen I still have one terminal free can put it here sometimes things stuff can for example put overhead map here if I was using all my screen I would do so or a status display I think I will leave a status display here let's see it yeah status display the one we saw on character generation it's the same one need to put it in the right size can have windows overlapping if you want to now back to options uh, sub window squelching I will explain this later this is for automatically throwing away stuff you find useless for example I don't want portions of infravision so I can I can throw them away automatically. Whenever I see one, it gets ignored. That is, it becomes invisible to me. Quality squelching automatically squelch, for example, bad, average, good, or other levels of weapons. You will normally start with no squelch and then slowly and slowly increase the squelching while you progress through the game. Auto inscription. I will explain inscriptions later. Base delay factor. Uh, this is how long between moves. If you, for example, watch an arrow fly through the screen, you will not see it if it is a set to zero so most people have it to four or five but well, it only affects you f quickly running or if you can see shots hit point warning that is you get a uh, unskippable warning where you have to press enter whenever your hit points go below say 50 percent so this is on oh. good movement delay uh, similar to base delay, I, I find it very useless. You can load or save preferences, which I will do. Save to Primla. Key maps uh, are macros. That is, I can, for example, I will show you the first one. I sometimes need, you need a rest. So you press, press big R. Then you can need to enter how long you rest. For example, press end to wait until something interesting happens. Press enter. This is a lot of work, isn't it? 
So you go to key maps, map for example the 5 button on the keypad because I play with the keypad and map it to uh, clear stuff that is some spaces then rest enter ah shit uh, create key map 5 space space r and uh, was what is enter again uh, return genau Turn, space, space, enter. So, this way, if I get damaged, there's a veteran here, let's get damaged. And I'm hurt, I go down. No monsters go up, nobody here, yay. I rest, it didn't work. What's this? The interface changed since the last time I played, 